Hey, Admirals fans, Jamie Evers here with Voice of the Admirals, Aaron Sims. The Admirals play Cleveland tonight after coming off a 5-4 shootout win in Rockford on Sunday. Yeah, it was a pretty weird game, actually. It started off rather poorly for the Admirals. Rockford really blitzed them, uh, had the lead. The Admirals uh, came back. Rockford had the lead. They came, the Admirals came back, back and forth, back and forth. And the Admirals uh, had the lead. Rockford came back. Rockford takes the lead. It was such a seesaw game. Bobby the goals, including uh, the tying goal with 58 seconds remaining in the contest. Huge goal with Anders Lindbeck pulled. Uh, then you get to the shootout. And the Admirals have been money in the shootout this year. Perfect 5-0. and oh. Justin Kirkland is 4-4 four for four in shootouts. Harry Zollnerchuk now 2-2 two for two in the shootouts. And Anders Lindbeck, his record is 4-0 oh in the shootout. UC Saros has the other win in the shootout. So, a uh, weird game a little bit. But the Admirals, there, there were some certain, certainly some positives, a lot to build off of. And uh, they continue to, to gain points. Since December 1st, the Admirals have played 16 games. Nine of those have gone into sh overtime or shootout, and the Admirals are 5-4 and four in those games. So even the four losses, they're getting points. They're in third place right now in the division, and uh, they look for bigger and better things. This is the sixth time these two teams have met this season. The Admirals going in tonight's game with a 3-2 record. Yeah, they won the last three, too. They lost the first two. For maybe not so much. Yusuf uh, Saros was the goalie in those games. Uh, Saros was uh, six and one against Cleveland in his career before this season. He's lost two games against the Monsters this year. Uh, one of them against Jonas Corposalo, who was sent down. Uh, we'll talk more about that in a second about the goalie matchup and why those guys are here. But uh, the last three games, the Admirals have been pretty solid. In the last uh, two games in the season series, uh, they scored five goals in each of them. So the Admirals need to continue to attack the net. They've been doing that rather well. They've been keeping guys, for the most part, away from the front of their net. And uh, because of that, they're, they're keep, keeping, getting in front of the goal gives them the chance to win, gives them the chance to do good things, both offensively and defensively. And that's why we're seeing the Admirals uh, have an uptick in points lately and, and kind of hold steady in the standings. Well, the tender change now. Say Saros has been reassigned to the Admirals. By, from Nashville, uh, Saros has played six games with Milwaukee this year and hasn't had the greatest success, just one four and one. Uh, he has played extremely well up in Nashville late. Has two shutouts on the season playing for the Predators. Uh, Nashville and the NHL in general, but Nashville is one of the teams that has a bye week, so the players can get away, uh, get some rest. Half the teams do that this week. The next week it'll be the other half. Columbus has to be on the same schedule as Nashville with the bye week. So they have sent Jonas Corposalo down. A couple of guys from Finland. Uh, Saros has been magnificent in his career for the Admirals. Corposalo has been magnificent in his career for the Monsters. Uh, the, uh, one of the losses the Admirals have had this year, Corposalo stopped 32 of 33. He was magnificent in a 3-1 win back on November the 18th in Cleveland. So uh, it's going to be a good matchup in goal tonight. And uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see if UC Saros can continue his hot play from Nashville here with Milwaukee. Face-off tonight between the Admirals and Monsters is at 7 o'clock. Admirals Rewards is up and running. Log in and enter the code word Cleveland and get 50 points for watching this preview. If you're not part of our rewards program, you can log on to MilwaukeeAdmirals.com and sign up today.